everybody and welcome back to Epic Specials and today I'm going to be finishing off my chain link steering wheel so I'm going to be making it fit my Nissan Sunny so let's crack on right so the first thing you need to do is the splines on this steering wheel aren't correct to fit on the old Nissan now this is a, an old wheel I made many years ago out of an old Nissan Sunny steering wheel so I need to cut this middle section out of the steering wheel for the splines cut it out of that steering wheel and weld them together. Okay, so we've cut the splines off the old steering wheel. And I've cut the splines off the new steering wheel. So now I need to weld them together. But obviously I need to make sure the steering wheel is going to sit straight when it's in the car. So first off I need to go take the steering wheel off the car, fit this, line this up on top, make a little mark with a pen so I know whereabouts to weld it on. Okay, so you need to take your steering wheel off. So, in my car, center off. Had three screws on the back. That was easy. Center nut was a 19. Oh, still too tight. I have slackened it off. Cheated, but I can't do it one-handed. Once you've loosened it, the steering wheel will be stuck on the spline, so you want to give it a good few thumps, and that should loosen it off. And before you take it off, you want to make sure the steering wheel is straight. So, once it's loose, take it off, and the wheel will come off. Ta -da! Okay, so we need the center spline bit. Now, there's no master spline on these. So it can go in any position. Some cars have like a spline missing or a fat one, which means the steering wheel can only go in one position. But on these, it can go anywhere. Okay, that's the center on, on all the way. So now we need to pop this one on. We need to line it up and then make a little mark. So bear with me a sec. So I've just marked it. On there so now when I take it off I know which is the top and which uh, where straight will be come on focus so I've got plenty of meat to weld to so it'll be nice and strong and I'll put a little mark on the back as well so let's go weld it up <laughs> So I spent a little while cleaning it up, trying to get rid of as many of the welding splatter little bubbles that you get off it. Cleaned everything up, so I can just give it a splash of paint. 
Now, I'm only going to paint the centre because I've tried to keep the uh, the chain link as clean as possible because it was chrome. So I'll leave it chrome for the time being and see how it comes out. So let's get some silver on there. I'm just going to be using this some hammered silver. I'm going to brush it on. It usually comes out pretty good. So that's one coat on. There we go, get in the light. Because of the, the hammered effect of the paint, it sort of does this crazy reaction. So that helps just to cover up yeah, all the imperfections in the steel and it gives it sort of an even texture. So makes it look quite funky. So let it dry catch some of the runs and maybe give it a second coat if it needs it speed up the drying process don't tell the wife so the paint's touched dry so I fitted it back up and let it finish off the drying process in here I gave it another coat so it's made the silver look a bit, bit better now obviously I have no horn so I'm going to probably put a switch in this little blank here for the horn and uh, as that's a 19mm nut I'm going to buy some 19mm wheel nut covers and pop one over the top and that should make that look a bit better. I might even find a stainless steel sort of um, horn push that I can glue to the nut cover and stick it over the middle to tidy up the middle of the steering wheel and then I need to find something to Tidy up the cowl just so you can't see all the gubbins in there. But as far as the steering wheel's done, it looks pretty cool. Now originally this steering wheel was gonna go in my other Nissan Sunny, the Bosazuku styled one, but as you can see, it's pretty small. And I haven't got power steering in the other car, and I just think it'd be impossible to drive with this but luckily this car's got power steering so it shouldn't be too bad we'll have to see how I get on so that's it I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and I'll catch you again soon cheers